Raiders have almost uh, 30 riders now, but yeah, definitely a push from UAE. Uh, but Ben O'Connor still hanging out there with only with over 20, 22 seconds. It will need a concerted effort from the riders behind to bring him back because he has absolutely given everything to try and win this stage. Look at this. He's almost taking the nose off the camera bike here. This is fantastic. Two kilometres from home. Still, he charges on every single one of these apex he's owning at the moment. And it's hard to catch a man who's on his own. He can pick all the lines, don't forget. A golden thread through this tapestry that may well indeed produce a spectacular finale for us. As if we aren't already experiencing that. Yeah, still touch and go for uh, Ben O'Connor, but a great effort here from uh, the man from Australia riding for AJ2R. Can he hang on? I think it's going to be a little bit uh, a bit difficult for him to hang on, but it all depends on who's willing to chase from the peloton behind. Well, let's find out. 1,300 metres. Alrighty, bon dia. Welcome to another episode of Tristan Take Video. Today is Saturday and I am down in Alicante. I've been down here for the last five days doing a five day training camp alongside Ben O'Connor before he heads off to his first race of the year. In this episode, I thought I would take you guys through the last week of my riding down here alongside Ben, what he's been up to, what I've been up to. Done plenty of hours, plenty of Ks, saw a lot of nice scenery and uh, yeah, let's crack on with the vlog and I will show you what we've been doing. So as I said, today is Saturday. I've been down here for the last week. I got here last Sunday. Last Saturday, I actually did my Everesting, which you will have seen in a previous episode. I did the Everesting on my brand new bike. But then I got home on Saturday night. I packed the bike straight into a bag. And Sunday, I caught the train down to Alicante, where I am now. The area that we're staying is a place called Chavilla. It's around Calpe and Denia and uh, a lot of other areas that people come down to train at this time of year. This area that we're staying in, it's a really, really popular spot for cyclists, but actually not somewhere I've ever been before. This is a spot where a lot of pro teams do their training camps in the early part of the year because the weather's great, the roads are really dry, super smooth, there's amazing climbs around here, amazing scenery. So yeah, I caught the train down here, Ben picked me up and uh, we got back to the house at about sunset. The house that we're staying at is a really beautiful modern Spanish villa that Ben and Sarah have booked and he said to me, do you want to come down here and stay with us? And I was like, hell yeah, when I saw some photos of this place, I was super, super keen. So on Sunday night when we got here, just had a couple of drinks, played a bit of Jenga, had a bit of a late one and then we went off to bed. On Monday morning, we got up and it was first ride day for me. Alrighty, so it is Monday. We're out for a bike ride. This was my first time in summer kit in a long, long time. The weather was absolutely perfect on Monday. Today, we're doing four hours. Yeah. Ben's already done two hours on the TT bike this morning and then came home. I got up and sat around in the sun having a coffee and then was late to get ready. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we got four hours, 126 Ks. We're just like a quarter of the way in. We're about to do Calder Ratters. Rates. Yeah, rat. Rat. A rat. And as my first ride down in Alicante here, we went out and did a really nice four and a half hour loop. This was a loop that we kind of headed south along the coast initially, and then eventually we started heading inland. Really nice to do some climbs that I've seen lots of photos of and heard lots of stories about. Because there are so many pros training down here, the Strava leaderboards are absolutely incredible. Some of the times that guys have done up these climbs are Next level, you've got Pogachar and Carapaz, Ben O'Connor, Jack Haig, uh, Wout Pools, various people who are from extremely good teams all coming down here to train and do some benchmark testing. So Monday's ride was a nice big loop. Ben just navigated the whole way, which was perfect for me. And uh, we really enjoyed just being out on the roads for a good little spin. Alrighty, day one in 
Chabia done. Four hours. 127 kilometers. Nice little training ride in short sleeves, short jersey. No efforts, but just really nice cruising. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Feels like spring. Loving it. So home, now we might dip our legs in the pool and relax. So then it was on to Tuesday. Tuesday was actually recovery roll day for Ben and because I am doing my riding alongside him, I was doing the same thing. So we went out for a nice little recovery roll on Tuesday. We headed north up towards Denia and then did a big loop around this amazing looking rock. The day before we'd headed south and west and then on Tuesday we headed kind of north and just did a really nice 30 kilometer ride. Good views, smooth roads as always. The respect from the cars was still blowing my mind. And then we headed towards the cafe and got a brew right on the coast on the ocean there, right here in Chavia, which was really, really nice. And the avocado toast in particular was absolutely amazing. Came back to the house and uh, had a little chill out. And then on Tuesday afternoon, I actually got picked up by the girls from Addicta Lab and BMC to head south down to Cartagena for a photo shoot. For those who don't know, Addicta Lab is BMC's new cycling kit brand. This was not part of the training camp with Ben, but because I've signed a deal with BMC for this year, the girls from BMC actually asked me if I wanted to come and be in a photo shoot. I never really get asked to be in front of the camera. I'm always asked to take the photos. So we headed down south. That was about a two hour drive south to get to Cartagena. We stayed in this really unique house that looked like it was in a bit of a time warp. We got there on Tuesday afternoon. We went for a nice little bike rider on sunset. I can't actually show you any of the Addicta Lab kit that I was wearing because of the fact that it's embargoed because it's not coming out yet. So for this photo shoot, I was riding the BMC Road Machine, which is BMC's more comfortable line of bike. We went out for a little spin, really nice sunset down there. And then it was off to bed because in the morning, we got up really nice and early to start the photo shoot. It is 7.45 and we are down in the south of Spain in a town I don't even know the name of. And today is shoot day for a Dicta Lab. So for the photo shoot day, we actually had three locations. The first location was a climb that we went to for sunrise. I kind of was standing at the top of the climb at sunrise while it was dark and I was looking around and I was like, I swear I recognize this, but I'm not sure where from. And then it dawned on me, I actually did a race last year down that way. And in the race, I came up that climb, but I was so boxed in the race that I didn't actually look out to the side and see the view. So yeah, it was cool to stand at the top of this climb and see the view that I missed while we were in the middle of this race. And then we started shooting. We went up and down the climb for location one. I went up and down there four times, which was actually pretty tough. It was a two and a half K climb at about 7%. We then went back to the house. We had some lunch and then it was off to location two in the afternoon. Location two was this really nice quiet road, kind of in the middle of nowhere it felt like. And then after we shot there, it was off to location three, which was sunset on the coast. Unfortunately, we got there a bit late and I didn't actually film anything because we we're in a bit of a rush. If you follow Addicta Lab, you'll see some of the photos and videos. Then that night they drove me up to Mercia to catch the train all the way back up to Chavia here, which actually took ages in the end. I ended up getting home at about one o'clock in the morning. So I was pretty ready for a sleep after a massive day of being in front of the camera. Let me tell you, being a model is just as hard as being a photographer. So then we got up on Thursday morning, nice early start. We had five hours on the plan with Ben. So we went out for this amazing five hour ride. Again, the roads down here are absolutely blowing my mind. I really love Girona as you guys know, but it was really cool to come to a different area and experience a different kind of riding, especially alongside such a good bike rider. Obviously Ben and I get along really well, but it's nice to just spend some proper time together talking through his year and talking through how I feel on my new bike. And yeah, just loving being down here. So Thursday, we're out here riding. We're currently going up the backside of Col de Rat. Super beautiful climb. As I've said a few times in this video, the roads here are amazing. Ben's made a really nice loop with some undulating roads. So you've been down here for nine days now. I've only been here for a few days. Tell us sort of uh, what you've been up to for the last nine days in terms of training and yeah, the purpose of this trip down here for you. Yeah, I mean, the purpose is actually to be polarized pretty much. So to get out of Andorra, Put some short sleeves on and <laughs> yeah and feel like a bit of a bike racer again and pretty much do a lot of very high intensity work along with some reference point like testing pretty much okay so you're doing a bit of testing of yourself yeah i've done like 20 seconds and three six and 12 minutes okay so i've done a test for pretty much every every single thing yeah and yesterday give yourself a bit of a baseline for example i did some two eight minute two eight minute efforts and uh 
two 10 minute efforts full out. You've already told me, tell these guys, how did you go for your two 10 minute efforts? First one they did like 4.35, the second one did around 4.50. And what was the climb you did those on? On Cumbre del Sol. Cumbre del Sol. So if anyone's ridden down here in Calpe, you'll know Cumbre del Sol. Quite a famous popular climb, I believe. Ben took the KOM yesterday on uh, one side of it. Yeah, anyway, I feel like pretty good and it's just been fun to train down here and have a bit more almost calm renting a house and we're actually just having a good time. So you've been doing like some uh, two, three, four day blocks. Tell us what sorts of hours within those blocks, what sorts of hours are you doing? More or less like four, four, six or okay. four, five, six. Uh, so quite big hours. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's kind of obligatory this time of the year before uh, March racing comes along. But you don't really train, you just kind of race. So I'm more or less going all in now to have a little break in April so that I can be good for the Tour de France. Yeah, cool. It's kind of the, the base plan. You heard it here first. A few people have been asking. Ben is doing the Tour de France this year. Yeah, that's definitely for on the agenda. obvious reasons. <laughs> can he repeat? Can he repeat? Probably not, so I'll try. <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> but let's uh, just talk quickly as well about the time trial. Obviously, time trialing is something that's been coming up for you the last few years. And of course, now you're a GC can contender. You have to be time trialing well. You've been doing quite a bit of TT work down here as well. Yeah, I mean, it's better to do the TT work here than in Andorra in general. Just it's a bit so, flatter down here. Just flatter and just you can get a better rhythm in general. So I've had fun with the TT bike and is the one key missing piece. I've spoken about it before. But yeah, in the GC puzzle. Yeah, I need to improve because that's what lost me a podium in Romandy and probably a fourth or fifth place in Dauphiné. So if you can tick those boxes, then you just have to then become a better climber. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Is that possible? Maybe. I don't know. There's two guys in particular. Though, yeah. <coughs> they climb slightly no one, better. No one could beat. What do they put in the water in Slovenia? We're going to find out later this pure year. Pure water. The pure water. Tell us, obviously, this is all in the lead up to the race that's in about a week from now, Ruta del Sol in the south of Spain, down yep. in Granada. That'll be your first race of the year. You feel like you're moving quite well at the moment, and this race, obviously, you're hoping to do pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I kind of, I guess, once again, games change a little bit, so you need to start well and perform, so. When you say the games change, do you mean for you as a rider? Yeah, I just feel like you have clear goals now, like you know the kind of rider you are, rather than not being sure for so long what you can be, who you are. It's actually saying to Tristan personally before, you have clear goals from everyone. There's so much planning now where you have all these boxes you can tick off. So it actually makes it a lot easier yeah. in a way. You're working for a collective goal. Because everyone's working the same thing, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Rather than you trying to kind of save your career. <laughs> Partly. No, like I'm joking, but like, you know, like, you're not working just for yourself. Yeah. It sounds selfish, but you have to look out for your, your, like your own interests first. And now, As in, you need to secure those contracts. Yeah. You need to get yourself yeah. results so you keep getting contracts. And now you've got the team behind you. And yeah, I love it. I love the team. And I can't thank them enough for all the effort they put in. So he's just to make an account and go out and smash it. <laughs> for the first time ever I'm on the wine <laughs> <laughs> So then it was on to Friday morning, which was yesterday morning, and uh, Ben was actually gonna go out on his time trial bike. So one of the big things for Ben is we've been discussing him working on his time trial. So he's been doing quite a bit of time trial work on his new fancy bike with his new fancy aero bar setup. He did a bit of activation stuff in the morning and then we headed out together, although I wasn't gonna ride with him for the entire ride. Took some videos of Ben actually to send to his coach because just to check his position. He's had quite a bit of aero testing done at the track and also with BMC and with his new 3D printer 
printed custom molded handlebars. So yeah, cool to be alongside Ben as he's riding that bike because I don't often see him on the TT bike. So it's Friday, out for a ride. Ben's on the time trial bike. Tell us quickly, what uh, efforts have you got or what are you doing today on the time trial bike? Pretty much just high intensity, short efforts, which is pretty much what all the time trials are like. A couple of five minute openers, a threshold, and then some bangers at like two minutes. So just pretty much getting used to putting out VO2, 450 plus watts in the bars, plus being aero. Eventually, Ben and I split off and I turned off in a different direction and I went and did my own ride for the rest of the day. So I've just split off from Ben. He's gone off to do his TT efforts and I'm just coming up to the base of Call the Rat. I'm gonna give this one a proper nudge just to give my bike a proper test on uh, one of the most popular and famous climbs down here, a climb that most people have had a proper go on. It'd be good to set myself a bit of a power benchmark and also just a time speed benchmark to see where I am on the leaderboard of overall bicycle riders in Europe. All right, here we go. Never gets easier. How good are those views though? Alrighty. So that's cold a rat out the way. That was a brutal climb. 5% doesn't really suit me. I like the steeper stuff. I did just over 15 minutes, I believe. If you want to see the ride, it'll be on Strava. Ended up with around 360 or so by the time I got to the top there. A bit over 15 minutes. I can't believe the KOM's like 13 minutes. Saw a few pro cyclists at the top there, the under 23 Lotto boys. And uh, now I'm cruising down the other side and I'm just gonna keep rolling and enjoy the rest of this super, super lovely day down here in Calpe. Alrighty, last day of training camp, doing one hour of bike riding and one hour of coffee stop. Let's go and get a coffee. Top, but it didn't help. Ciao, man. <laughs> we can go up to the house. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao, see you, dude. Can we clip in? Can you clip oh, in on this hill? Great. I mean, Ooh. no. 
Oh, he gets it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Almost. It was close. I don't know if I can cross it. No. Now can I clip in? Let's see. Oh, got it. First go. Woo. Hey, easy ride done. That was nice. Alrighty, so there we go at the end of our big week, five day. Well, I've done a five day training block plus today, which was a nice little rest day. Ben's done now up to, what are you at? Day I think this is day 11. Day 11 for Ben. A couple of weeks of training for, for Ben and a nice week for me. Just enjoyed being down here in Alicante. As I said before, Ben's heading off to his first race. You head off to Ruta del Sol yeah, on, on Monday. Monday. So a couple of days from, from now. Wednesday. Yeah, and you feeling all right for that? Yeah, just keen. Just wanna like have fun and hope that the racing in March then is what I want it to be, you know. Yeah. It's Paranese in Catalonia and I think you can't deny the top couple steps, that top five, top ten is what you now look at to That's what you're aiming aim for. for. Yeah, 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 exactly. Cool. So yeah, Ben's gonna be real focused on on the sort of March, April time. So we'll keep an eye on him, obviously. Give him a follow on Strava so you can see all his data if you want to. Obviously, all the rides will also be on Strava if you wanna see anything that I've done or that Ben's done. Um, keep an eye on Ben on Instagram and Pro Cycling Stats. Give me a follow if you want to. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. For the moment, it's time for me to pack up my bike and I head back to Girona this evening. And then tomorrow I head to Gran Canaria for a photo shoot with Attacker, but you guys will see more on that later. I think that's probably enough from here down in San Alicante. And we'll see you guys all again soon. All right, adeo. He's on the uh, hoardings here being beaten royally for him. And it's a sensational performance by Ben O'Connor. He timed that beautifully. He's still up next to this mountain and he's cut it down with the side of his hand. It's minor place for everyone. I think Quintana's going to get up on the throw here. That was a phenomenal finishing as well. Ben O'Connor, what a fantastic performance. Three Aussies, three Aussie wins in a row. Matthews, then Groves, and now O'Connor. They own the place.